Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mustafa Mir and I am a new assistant professor. I just started here at the Perlman School of Medicine and my lab is also affiliated with the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So uh, I'm an electrical engineer by training and I spent much of my early career uh, building uh, new types of microscopes. Um, and as I began to apply these microscopes to various uh, biological phenomena, I got uh, fascinated by this, the new levels of details this uh, microscope provided. And in particular, I got interested in understanding the dynamics of how uh, genes are turned on and off to uh, make and maintain a living animal. Uh, so how is given that every single cell in your body basically has the same genome, we need to turn genes off first of all in the right place so you can make all the different cell types that make your body like your liver, your eyes, your brain, and of course at the right time uh, to make development proceed with this beautiful choreography that we can observe and then at the right level so that we can avoid uh, developmental defects for example. And uh, something that struck me as an imaging uh, scientist when I started looking at these things is that as opposed to this very dynamic view that we get when we image life, when we look at a textbook, it's often described in a very static manner where you see a sort of linear arrangement and uh, almost like an assembly line of where things bind and then produce uh, some sort of output. But when you look with a microscope, what you see life is very dynamic and is dynamic at multiple scales. So for example, if you look inside of an embryo of a fly of Drosophila melanogaster, which is what I use as a model organism to study gene regulation in my lab, you'll see at the whole embryo scale, you see this kind of beautiful synchronous divisions of these cells and that eventually go on to uh, uh, move around within the embryo and begin to pattern it to form the different structures that are gonna make uh, the body. And then when you peer inside of these individual nuclei, uh, what you see is that the chromatin, the genetic information inside these nuclei themselves is highly mobile and everything is wiggling around. And, and since we know that the genetic information in each of these nuclei uh, is identical, what really differentiates the cells that are gonna make the head versus the tail of the fly are the proteins that are inside the nuclei that bind to this uh, DNA uh, and turn genes on and off. And so you have this very crowded environment where you have this chromatin, uh, the genetic information uh, packaged into chromatin and these proteins that are then binding and interacting with it which to turn these things on and off. Uh, so as an engineer, what I was really at first interested in was how we can begin to measure these dynamics. And so in my lab, we build uh, and apply microscopes like you've probably never seen before because they don't really look much like uh, the types of microscopes that we see typically with an eyepiece and so on. But these microscopes are very powerful and they allow us to peer in uh, inside of these embryos and access di these dynamics at the molecular scales. And what you're seeing here are individual uh, protein molecules as they whiz around and bind these genes and turn them on and off. And uh, we can look at how different proteins interact to see how this uh, crowded soup within the nucleus is actually organized and actually how this relates to individual genes turning on and off. Now, all of this type of microscopy to me it continues to be mind blowing. And every time I look at it, I can stare at these movies for hours. But what really drives me is the type of knowledge we can extract from these movies and uh, how we can use them to understand how what happens at the molecular scale patterns these embryos and goes on to make uh, uh, an adult uh, organism capable of independent life. And, I believe that once we can uh, better understand uh, uh, these connections, we'll understand how genes are regulated, uh, not only during early development, but throughout the life of an organism. So if this is this type of research where we both uh, uh, develop and apply new technologies to understand fundamental aspects of life excites you, please check out my website at mir-lab.com and feel free to reach out to me with any questions you might have. As I mentioned, we are a brand new team 
and we're very excited to grow uh, into a very dynamic lab where we uh, have a good group of uh, scientists who are driven by their curiosity on uh, how life works. So thank you for your time and attention and uh, welcome to Penn.